Hi everyone, my name is Tom, and my multiplayer system sucks. But before I go into that, I'm working on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. It's a game where the New York City turned the Brooklyn Bridge into a park, and the visitors are in desperate need of food. As a company owner, you will be able to purchase food booths and serve your customers. You will have to take care of resources, so either produce ingredients by yourself, or buy them from other players or the city. The goal is to monopolize the bridge and eliminate the competition. This week I was working on fixing some bugs. The first one was the bug with the pedestrian, where the pedestrians would group together and not despawn after they reached their target. I solved it by replacing the logic that checked if the pedestrian reached their destination. Instead of having some weird logic, now I'm just checking if the distance between the pedestrian and the target is less than 1.5 and if it is, the pedestrian disappears. The second bug I was trying to fix this week was a multiplayer bug that I was having for a while. Let's say we have two players. Let's call them Tom and Steve. Tom opens a host. Steve joins him. They play for a while, then Steve decides to leave the game. Tom also closes the game. And then they decide they want to play again. So Tom reopens the host. Steve joins Tom's game. And then this happens, where the host cannot see any of the movement that Steve does. And let's say a third person joins the game. Steve and the third person can see each other's movements all good, but the host for some reason is not working properly. So for two days I was trying to debug and understand what's the source for this, and I couldn't figure it out. I even created a post on the Unity forum, trying to see if anyone has an idea. My assumption was that somewhere, something, some network data is being left over and not properly cleaned up. I was trying to understand wh what it was, but I couldn't find anything. Then maybe I thought that it might be that the netcode library has a different shutdown protocols for when a server has only one player or a multiple players. This person responded on my thread and said that it's probably something faulty in my code. And then he gave me an interesting design pattern for a multiplayer game. So I'm going to try to remake my systems using that design. Here's the idea. You have three setups. The bootstrap, offline and online. Where the offline would be my main menu. The bootstrap is gonna be a scene that has all the network related stuff. And the online is the lobby and the game itself. So when a player is in the main menu, they're gonna decide whether they want to create or join a lobby. They will load the bootstrap behind the scenes without them realizing and they will join the lobby. From the player's perspective, it's gonna be the same. But from the game's perspective, they're gonna be passing through this bootstrap scene and loading the extra stuff. This should give a nice separation between the offline and the online scripts and hopefully that will fix my problem. Also it will give me a good opportunity to make some major refactoring to my system. Also I hope it's not gonna take me too much time. I really want to start finishing up the MVP and starting alpha testing the game. Anyway, that's the news for this week. Here's the wishlists. I'm still standing on a double digit wishlist. This is mostly my fault because for the past few weeks I've stopped making any posts. I would tweet about the game, I would put out a short, I would do a TikTok, whatnot. And I need to start doing that again. Well, thank you for watching the quick update. Please wishlist New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam. That really helps me. And I will see you next time.